Yes, yes sir. Right. Of course, we're brought massive attention to the NBA All-Star Weekend. You put the world on notice with your sure shooting prowess as you match a lot of the scores of those NBA players in that competition. Sabrina, what did it mean for you to represent the Liberty and the WNBA on that stage? What we're trying to accomplish with having this competition for the first of its kind, I think step that I've understood uh, that there was a lot to do because we didn't know what was going to happen. And uh, obviously, I think we understood that the attention was going to bring to the sport or just creating an equal space for them to be able to go out there and compete. And so, uh, for me to be able to have that opportunity to represent the Liberty, to represent the league, but also to just showcase to all young girls um, and young boys, I think, around the world that they can go out there and they can compete and do whatever it is that they want. I think that's a unique community here in Brooklyn, and, and what does it mean to you to just inspire all of those people? I mean, it means a lot, obviously. Um, I think we come to New York, a big part of that is the embracing Caribbean culture as that people to and so to be able to be a part of an organization that does that, it feels really good. It feels like the same thing. So how about people coming in on our friends that are out of the way the center, you know, watching the games, the games, the games, and all the other games, and it means a lot to me. So today, just about the great cause you're representing in Guadalajara. Well, this cause is obviously near and dear to me. Uh, because I think it's So it's special to me, and this is a great opportunity for me to see the city. Um, you know, I know 40 miles is insane, but I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. I know it's like a community thing, uh, but, the, but the most important thing to me is the fundraising that I'm doing with the NMRI Foundation. Um, they just do incredible work, and my, me and my family have seen the impact that their research does firsthand, uh, so that's why it's so important for me and for me to do my part. They can't do the research without outcomes. Uh, that's what, it's unfortunate there isn't a, a cure for MM right now, but that's what they're working for, and the new medicines every single day that are being found make true impacts on these patients, and I've seen it. Um, and so um, that's what I want to be a part of. Um, I'm just lucky that this MMRF does such a work. They do runs and walks everywhere across the nation. That fits perfectly with the Liberty's identity and what you both stand for, uh, just to prioritize that giving back to the community, specifically here in Brooklyn. So what are some of the specific causes that mean the most to you, and you know, what would you, you like to say to other people, too, about why it's important just to give that back? I know it's hard to hear. <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah, so what, what are some of the most important things that you feel you contribute to to enjoy your back to the uh, for me, um, the kids are near to my heart. So anything in town, there's anything in the community where I can help all kids, um, that's what's most important to me. Um, I know once I finish playing, I realize I have my own interest in this. Um, so that's my way of also giving back to the community to continue to build the foundation for our children. I want to ask you what this way is. Like I mentioned, um, that's something that my mother is still doing. Um, so you about that first off season in Brooklyn, especially because you were able to come back to your home state, New York State. Um, I mean, I think that I, I wanted to, to mention that this off season, I was in the community, obviously knowing that Mark and I just love our second child, but uh, being able to give back, being able to make an impact. Uh, I was in the Turf Tribe, Brooklyn. I was at a boat drive, um, and just continuing to do whatever I can, just like the rest of these, these ladies up here, to know that we have a great platform and continue to, to reach as many people as possible. Obviously, continue to just improve our shooting. Um, you know, I'm not being completely.
because I learned what I did last year, but wanted to continue to just improve on my range, be a better shooter, be a better shooter quicker, but also just be better at all three levels. Wanting to be able to score in the mid range and also for the rim, and continue to work on getting my teammates open and finding ways to move without the ball, be able to free the net as well. What does that look like behind the scenes? That identity being selfless as you did here. Why we're all here and why we're all back here for year two um, and, and who we're playing for. I think, you know, it's it's really easy and, and it is easy, but it, it's not to be able to come together, um, put together a group and compete for a championship in the first year. And I think we've all um, committed ourselves to be a part of this team and what it is we're trying to accomplish. And we're not really doing it for ourselves, but we're doing it for um, the people that are sitting next to us and the people that are all on the right now. So I think it's just understanding. Like, it is about the team and not about us as individuals. And we all want to be here today, um, sitting in front of you. If that's not how we felt, well, that's not how we committed ourselves. We have a lot of fans here today on Saturday morning to watch you guys practice. And we saw them show up and show out, selling out this place for the finals. What has that support at Barclays Center meant to you? Especially the way we continue to grow over the years. You know, me and Sad were here when we first started. I know a lot of you were too. And so, so continue to. But just but just letting you know that we really, really appreciate the support because we wouldn't be able to go as far and go as that we would be able to do without you. You know, this, this place would be empty and we would go for it. So we really appreciate y'all. I know there are no other fans in my life. Thank you. 